Hi guys. So <coughs> I haven't been really feeling well the past couple of days, as you can tell. I'm like really congested. Um, Saturday, I started to get like a kind of like a sore throat, like in my, my left side. So I still went out with my husband, and because uh, it's like I said, it was like our first time in like two years. So um, without the kids, <coughs> so I went out anyway. And now I just feel like crap. Um, it's been raining and thundering and stuff here. So I've just kind of been laying in bed. Since it's not nice outside, it's just kind of like that cuddle up in bed type of weather because I'm sick anyway. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So while I was out with my husband, we did stop. And because I'm a freak, we stopped at um, the dollar store. And I picked up a couple of things. I picked up a couple of things for Gabby. And, uh, like, for prizes. Like, I picked up, like, they had these huge Disney coloring sheets. With the, the, um, the velour coloring sheets that were Disney. So I got her a couple of those for her prize box. And, um, <clears throat> I got her a couple of candies and a couple of books and stuff that were all Disney. Uh, they had a huge, the one up in Utica where I was, they had a huge Disney section for like if you're throwing a party. So I suggest if you're in the U.S. and you're thinking about throwing your daughter like a <clears throat> an El a Frozen party or a Disney Princesses party or a Mickey Mouse party or I think they had Finding Dory stuff there too. Um, before you go out to like Party City and spend like a shit ton of money, go to your dollar store first and see, you know get like the paper plates and all that stuff there because <clears throat> they have a lot of it there I was really surprised with how much they had our dollar store has some but it doesn't have like a huge selection like this one did this this one was really big so I did pick up two of these they're eyeshadow palettes I was really surprised that they had like these big eyeshadow palettes there they're by colored mates um I'm just gonna end up using like this middle sec this middle top section here and the same with this one this middle top section here I don't really use the pinks and the blues and stuff <clears throat> so um guess what they had they had BB cream in my color I did not try it because it came in like a whole package like I unpackaged everything so I didn't try it but I got four bottles of this just because one bottle of the Ramel was like $7.99 so I figured I'd try it if it doesn't work for me then I only wasted four dollars instead of wasting another seven bucks um <clears throat> I think that's all I got um I went to Target and I got Target in New York now sells fireworks I didn't know fireworks were now legal in New York they had always been illegal in New York so I picked up Oh, I picked up some stuff from 4th of July at uh, the dollar store, too. Um, they had, like, necklaces that have stars on them that glow. And I picked up some more um, glow stick necklaces and glow wands and stuff. Because they have a big celebration in our city, but they have a guy that comes around, like, right before fireworks. And they're always, like, 8 $9 for, like, this little glow stick. So, I'm not going to pay that. <sighs> um, so, I went to the dollar store and got all that stuff. Uh, I went to Target and I got my daughter Pop a, she calls them Pop the Pig, but it's Peppa Pig, uh, socks for two dollars, like a whole pack of socks, like it was a big, big pack. Uh, they were on clearance and I had to grab her diapers and I saw the, uh, what were they called, the bomb fizzers? bath bombs and I almost grabbed her a couple more of those because she really likes them and they're a lot cheaper at Target than they are at Rue 21 by like four or five dollars so but my husband was like this today isn't about the kids so he kind of like flipped wouldn't let me buy them so I didn't end up getting them but I probably will in the future because I think they just opened a Billy B's there so I think we're going back up there to bring the kids to Billy B's <sighs> So, my uh, Lush order, that the stuff that I ordered from the kitchen did come today. Um, I can't really do an unboxing with you guys because of the fact that the box was soaked. I uh, It's pouring here and we had to go into Oneana. 
and um because we had to go to our doctors and send some forms so uh <clears throat> it was raining when they delivered the package I wasn't expecting it to get it today I was expecting it like tomorrow because it's a kitchen order they usually take a couple more days but it actually did come like today so it only took a week so it was sitting outside and the box got all wet so I kind of had to hurry up as soon as I got home and take everything out of the box so it didn't get destroyed um <clears throat> on the way home though I was I had to get all ready anyway because I was like that's why I'm in pajamas uh I was soaking wet there was a car that ran off the road and I I stopped to make sure that the person was okay and two ambulance ended up coming so I ended up you know stepping off and just getting back in my car and going home but I uh got out of the car to go make sure that they were okay because <clears throat> they were they went off the road and like the ditch between the two uh, parts of the highway they went in between so it's like a huge ditch and they were down in there so I ran out to make sure that they were okay so I was soaking wet <coughs> so I kind of just threw my hair up real quick when I got home and put on a pair of fuzzy PJs uh so anyway so this is what I got from Lush I picked up a French kiss bubble bar lavender lots and lots of lavender it's all I smell I have like three favorite well my fa I have two favorite soap scents which is honey I wash the kids and outback meat those are like my two top like if live or die I could not live without them they are amazing um bath bomb scents I would have to go with the new Think Pink and um, Rose Jam, which I was really surprised because I hate floral scents, but Rose Jam is kick-ass. I love it. Love it. Love or die. So, um, and I'm talking only Lush, not my indie companies. Uh, the, it's not Don't Rain on My Parade, it's, uh, it's Raining Men. Which is the Honey I Wash the Kids scent. Uh, that is like my favorite <laughs> out of, and the Rose Jam uh, shower gel. Those are my favorites. Mint and Juleps is my favorite lip scrub. Um, I forgot which one we tried. We tried two different facial moisturizers, and actually, Gorgeous, out of the ones that I tried, Gorgeous was not the best one that I tried. Um, there was one that was, like, really minty, and it made your skin feel, like, really nice and open and airy. I forgot which one that was, but it was really nice. <clears throat> so, but I am very into Honey, I Wash the Kids, very into Rose Jam, and love Outback Mate, and love the Think Pink scent, which is also the, um, I think it's the Sweetie Pie, the Sweetie Pie scent, I think. Yeah, I want to say that they're the same scent family. So we got another Think Pink, because I did give mine. And here, this side wasn't touched by the French Kiss bubble bar, so I can smell it. Which is, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I gave my other one to my sister. That's why I had to buy another one, um, because they're not available in the U.S., I got her one. Uh, so, um, I also picked up Rose Jam Bubble Room. Mmm. Love it. I don't understand, though, because, like, I have to wrap all my shit up and everybody wraps their stuffs up. I don't understand how it sitting in the store it keeps it fresh. Like, I don't know. I just don't know how it stays fresh. So... Uh, I'm gonna, before I show you what I got from the actual kitchen, I'm gonna show you what, uh, um, samples they gave me. It's actually funny because they sent me a sample of Honey, I Wash the Kids soap. I do not like fair trade honey. And people are gonna be like, oh, well, you must like fair trade honey. No, I don't. It's, it's a way too sweet. Honey, I Wash the Kids is like a sweet, it's like a sweet, creamy honey scent. Whereas fair trade honey is just pure honey, and I don't like it. It's, it's too sweet. 
And they sent me another thing of maple. I think I have like a full bar of maple now. I love maple. I do like maple. Maple is a very good scent, but it'd be in my top five, but my top two are going to wash the kids and not pack me. And they sent me a thing of plum rain shower gel, which I think they're sending everybody. Actually, I think I asked for this, but, um, and I already opened it to smell it because I was so excited and it smells so good. Like it has, a, <clears throat> there is a very in your face sour scent. Like you definitely, it smells sour, but I like it. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, this is what I got from the kitchen. I picked up, I told you we were getting some fun. I picked up Speedboat Fun, which is blue fun, yellow fun, orange fun, red fun. And they tried to like make it into like a speedboat shape. So there's lots of blue fun in there. And I had to pick this up because it's my favorite scent family. I picked up the limited edition gold fun because it's Honey, I Washed the Kids scent. Yeah, limited edition gold fun is scented with the comforting caramel fragrance of Honey, I Washed the Kids. So that's why Honey, I Washed the Kids smells creamier is because it's got the caramel in it. Yeah, see, this one doesn't tell you because of the fact that it's got three different buns and they're all different scents. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to discern the three different sets because my nose is all stuffed up. The b Whoa! Yeah, it's not very lighty here. The blue one in the speedboat, I don't know. You guys can't see that through the wrapper. It's uh got luster. Here's my regular blue one, which does not have luster in it. This one has luster. So it must be like a limited edition type thing. Where because it's a limited edition. Ooh. I'm twisting you guys all over the place. Because it's a limited edition. It has luster in it. I don't know. It tells me who made them. Like, and it, I feel it's... Seas... Seisman? Seisman? I'm probably butchering your name right now. So I'm sorry if you ever see this. I think like the people have weird names. That's just my opinion. This one was made by Slavana. Or. No, oh, Sylvia. Wow, Slavana. But look at. I don't know if you can see that. If it'll pick it up. I don't know. But they're, I don't know why, but they're, um, they're kitchen ones. The words, like, aren't as clear. They're, like, all jumbled. As far as the names and stuff. Alright, so, this is what it says on the outside. It says, how to use. Well, the first thing you will want to do with your phone is get it out of this biodegradable wrapper. And start having fun making it into mer people. There are so many ways to wash with fun for body and hair. Just pinch off a small bit, hop in the shower, bath, and lather it up from head to toe. Use this bubble bath or in hand to wash your clothes. Or to wash your clothes by crumbling a small chunk under the hot running tap. When you've finished having fun, please store your bar back in this cellophane so I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all out of here and I feel like I feel like if I take this sticker off it's going to not stick back together
Okay. So here's our fun. I don't really know. I can't really smell a lot of the scents. The orange and yellow is overpowering everything. So the I'm sure if I separated these and stored them separately, the blue would smell different. But I am picking up, I don't know, I am picking up something that smells different, the red. But it's like so faint because the orange and the yellow are just overpowering everything. Actually, I think it's just the orange. Because the yellow, now that I'm like shoving the yellow up my nose, doesn't really have a scent. That orange is so strong though. Shove the blue, just shove it up my nose. Look, it looks like a giant finger. <laughs> but, see, can you see now? See it? See the luster? It's got luster. Right. Wrap him back up. I actually use this. Shoot! I knew that was going to happen. Oh, no. There we go. Basically... I'm going to end up having to chop some of that blue up. Um, I'll show you guys how to make a bubble bath with this. And I actually shaved my legs with this. So <coughs> what I've been doing, I can't show you the rainbow phone because that's what I've been using to shave my legs. But you only need, like, I take a piece like this. And what I do is I run it under water. And then... I like slide it up and down my leg so it lathers my leg and then I shave and then I leave it I don't like this if this is what that's supposed to this doesn't smell like that I think that has two different scents to be completely honest I think that blue smells like something different because this blue does not smell like that blue because I would definitely be able to pick this up so, I don't think that they smell the same. I think Speedboat has its own scent family. I could be dead wrong, but I'm pretty sure because this is, I would be able to pick this up when I smelt that blue and I can't, I can't pick this up. Again, my nose is stuffy, but this is like in your face. Um, <clears throat> so what do I do? What I do is I just lather it on my leg and then I shave and then I leave it out to dry. Um... When you leave stuff out to dry, make sure you're not leaving it in your bathroom. If anybody else uses the bathroom, it's sitting in the moisture. So it's not going to dry out and it's actually going to end up dis like disintegrating, crumbling. But that's with any product that you have. Your reusable bubble bars, everything like that. Um, this, Honey, I wash the kids. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to end up having to chop up. I'm just going to chop it up into like... Almost like if you've seen you know, the rainbow fun, how it comes in, like, slices. That's pretty much what you want to do if you're going to shave your legs. And then you take that circle, and then you let it dry out afterwards. I love this scent. I could just live in here. <coughs> I feel like shit, though. I do. I feel like poop. So, I am probably going to do a demo later if I don't fall asleep. Um, I do have a pre-recorded experimenter demo that hasn't gone up. I've been, I was trying to upload it, trying to upload it, trying to upload it, wouldn't upload. So, um, if I end up falling asleep, I'll just upload that pre-recorded one. Um, uh, if I don't fall asleep, I'll end up doing a demo tonight. Um. Anything I say while I'm sick as far as scents, just don't mind me. Um, because, like I said, my nose is really stuffed up. So some things, most things I can smell 
because they're just so strong. But, like, lighter scents, like, if something's, like, vanilla scented, I can't smell it. I can't. <laughs> I just, I, I'm all stuffed up. My throat is all sore, and I have a head cold. And especially from just running in the rain, like, an hour ago, I'm just, that made it worse. So, but I, I'm cooking dinner right now, so I will talk to all of you guys later. Um, and we'll do a demo later. I gotta get this stuff wrapped up. Again, I'm sorry that we didn't get to do an unboxing, but I had to take it all out before all the stuff got ruined because it's pouring here. Hopefully sometime later this week or next week we'll be getting at our Whiskey Mermaid. So, uh, I, I love you guys and I will talk to you all of you later. Bye.